Mary Alice, the state has issued a warning about using credit and debit cards at gas stations. This after the payment processor Visa said there's been a series of cyber attacks at gas stations with criminals accessing payment systems and stealing customer data. It's happening at those stations that are not yet able to process payment cards using encrypted chips. Gas station merchants aren't required to use chip card compatible payment systems until October 2020. Several lawsuits have now been filed over the recent data breach of the Wawa convenience store chain. The company revealed that hackers were stealing credit card numbers and customer names. The Philadelphia Inquirer reports at least six suits have been filed in recent days. A recent survey by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association shows businesses are cautious heading into 2020. Recently, I spoke with NJBIA CEO Michelle Sakurka about some of the issues facing New Jersey's businesses and what they'd like to see happen in the new year. Each year we do a business outlook survey, and this year the level of their enthusiasm is the lowest that it's been since before the recession. So what is going on? There's a lot going on in the state of New Jersey. Um, you know, the business community has shouldered a lot of new costs and mandates over the past year. And then you marry that up with the discussion of whether or not a recession is on the horizon. Now our businesses tell us that um, they foresee a recession coming in the next year or two. But if you think about the costs that they've had added to doing business um, just in the last year alone, increased minimum wage, paid sick leave, expanded family leave, uh, that bears a burden on New Jersey business and particularly small business. It's not like you're not trying to get the message out there and business owners aren't saying, listen, we're struggling a bit. Exactly. It just seems they're not being heard in some cases. Yeah, I have to agree. Um, you know, the, the challenge is that business is speaking up and we are out there, you know, advocating on their behalf. And we don't just we don't just advocate. We bring research and data to our policymakers. Right, through reports and economic studies and indicators. You know, we have the Business Climate Index that we update every year. We talked about the needle moving. It's moving in the wrong direction. So not only are we, you know, the most expensive and least affordable in many categories, but it's like everybody else is here and, and we're here. And then each year we keep going further and further. So we're an extreme outlier. So what do we need? We need a reform agenda and we need it now. We haven't been just talking about this for a few months. We've been talking about this for years. And, you know, it feels like Groundhog Day. And everyone is out there talking about reform. We have, you know, the path for progress. There's recommendations out there. Why aren't they moving? Right? We need it to move now. Are, are you optimistic that there will be movement in 2020? I mean, we didn't see too much movement in 2019. Yeah, again, we saw movement in the wrong direction. Right. Um, and we can't help but implore that timing is everything, especially when you're looking at that business outlook. Mm -hmm. When you see concern on behalf of business that a recession could be coming. You know, we were the last state out of the recession. I don't want to see us be the first state in a recession. And when we talk about policies that could afford be even more expensive to New Jersey business, they freeze their hand on the wallet. I don't want a self-fulfilling prophecy here, right? We have a strong economy and we need to send a good indicator and a good direction for business so that they make investments in the new year. If you could get one thing from Trenton, just one mm -hmm. for 2020, that would change the dynamic for businesses, what would that be? One thing. Uh, something to address um, our, our pension system. Absolutely, the pension reform, because we're sitting on a fiscal cliff right now. We had a 382% increase in our long-term debt over the last 10 years in the state of New Jersey. That is not sustainable. And the last thing I want to see is that that system goes bust and those people don't have what they deserve. We're not talking about taking away their benefit. We're talking about reforming it for the future. And there's ways to do it. It's been studied. We know. So we'd like to see the political will to move that. Michelle Sikirka, always a pleasure. Good Thanks, to talk Rhonda. to you. Thank you.